Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. As you can see, I'm in the kitchen, so that means I have another catch cleaning cook for y'all. And today we're doing something pretty cool. This is the first time for me, first time on this channel, first time, period. We're doing a catch cleaning cook on golden tile fish. Never caught one of these before. I've eaten them in restaurants and I think they're absolutely amazing. So I'm excited to eat one fresh for myself. I can't wait, awesome. Recently I went out on a trip with a Captain Sonny Richards on the Alcoholics Anonymous at a Sebastian Inlet in Sebastian, Florida. Went on a tile fishing trip and we did some dropping for some other fish. But let me tell you something guys, that was awesome. It was like a trip of a lifetime for me. I never caught a tile before, so it was my very first tile fish. And I can't wait to go back again. I'm going to go back as soon as I can. I'm going to go back and do the same trip again. It was amazing. But real quick, if you haven't seen the video before this, I'm going to try to put a link right here. If I can remember, I'm really bad at doing this. But if I can remember, I'm going to put a link up here. So you guys go collect that link and you go check out this first video. And it's awesome. I mean, it was a great trip. So real quick. We're gonna check out a clip of me catching my biggest tile. It wasn't my first, my first one was kind of small. And I didn't even put that in the first video because I messed up on the filming a little bit. But my second tile was the bomb. So we're gonna check that clip out real quick and I'll see you guys at my cleaning table and I'll see you back here in the kitchen, y'all. All right, we are hooked up. That was, that did not take long. It's on. All right, hopefully this is a big old yellow edge grouper. Come on. Stopping it? Oh yeah. 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 Oh, this is a good. Yeah, it's stopping it. Oh, this is a good fish right here. <laughs> this is a good fish right here. Come on with it. It could be a tile. It could be a tile. We're still in tile territory, but. Oh, okay. Turn that frown to a smile. It's a big fish, whatever it is. Yeah. You got it. Roll. You got it rolling. But we also oh, got yeah, it's going. We got all that weight on the bottom of that. We got a little extra weight there too. So. Oh, true. We're fishing what? 800 feet of water? Yeah. Oh, over. over. Uh, 840, 840. Woo. Whatever it is, I'm gonna be happy. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. He. That's a good fish right there. That's a good fish. No, he ain't definitely ain't no flea. Breaking? Yeah. Got a lot of fight here, so hopefully that's the other way. So when they get up about halfway, they start floating. They start floating up. He's bouncing a little bit. We had to go a little further out because that wind just pushed everything off that ledge and it falls down there. That'd be crazy if that's a tile, though. Oh, he's digging. Okay. 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 Oh, oh shit. damn it! What? When he stopped, he came off. Did he? Watch for him. Watch. Yeah, yeah we're up. There he is. Oh. He floated up. Oh, we get a second chance at him. That's a big fish. Yeah, As we were reeling him up, and I stopped, it came off. But luckily, he floated back yeah, up. Like a tile. You want a gas? That's a big tile. See this bad boy. Is it a tile? It is a tile. Oh, no. oh you got him? Nice. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, yeah. 
sweet. Decent job. Not a bad one, man. That was crazy. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I got my tile fish here. This was my biggest one. I did catch another little dinky one. So I got two on this trip. But this is my big one. This is a really nice size towel. And I have never cleaned one of these before. I've eaten them in restaurants, but I have never cleaned one of my own. So this is going to be a first for me. All righty. So I'm going to go ahead and make my first cut right here. Ooh, it goes in pretty easy. I'm going to come up this head a little bit. I'll follow that backbone. And right about here where this fin is, I'm going to see if I can't push my knife through. Well, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to keep going down the tail here. All right. Okay. Go down this backbone as close as I can. Okay, I'm gonna come through right about here now. I'm gonna ride it all the way out. And there we go. Whoo, look at that. That is some nice looking meat, man. Nice looking meat. I'm gonna go over that rib cage. That is some of the whitest fillets I have ever seen. Make my cut right through here. Slimy booger. Okay, not bad for my first tile. Look at that fillet. Holy cow. That's a nice looking fillet. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and skin that out real quick. Skin's pretty nice. Oh yeah. Man, that, that skin's real nice. Very, very nice. A little chilly out here this morning look at that y'all now that is a nice looking fillet okay got a little bit of pin bones right here just a little bit get this out and go up pretty high yeah, they come all the way down too. Alright. Okay. Get as close to those pin bones as I can so I don't waste any of this meat. There we go. Alrighty. That's all pretty much boned right there. Okay, got a little bit of a bone right here. Alright. There we go, guys. There is my very first tile fish fillet. I'm pretty proud of that. Pretty happy. All right, y'all. Well, we are in the kitchen, and I got my beautiful tile fish fillet right here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, baking dish here. I'm going to go ahead and put some nonstick stuff on it. All right, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this in some smaller portions. There we go. Really nice portion right here. I'll put that in the baking dish. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut these little portions right here. Take this bloodline out, even though it's not a bad bloodline. I'm still going to go ahead and take it out. There we go. We got two really nice pieces. Put those in there like that. Good, so far already. All right, next thing I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna take a stick of butter. Like 
like this. This will cut little wedges, little chunks like this. We're going to use the whole stick, guys. Alrighty. And we're just going to go ahead and place them in here in no particular order. Put a couple on the fish. There we go. Just like that, guys. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lemons. I'm going to roll them a little bit. Get them nice and squishy. Right, my oven is preheated. Preheated my oven to 400 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and cut these in half. And then we're just going to squeeze some fresh lemon all over the fillets. Just like that. Go ahead and do two of them. Super simple, very easy. You don't want to doctor up a, a fish like this too much because the fish itself is amazing. If you've ever eaten tile fish, this stuff is the bomb. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit of black and redfish magic on them, just a little bit. And that should be enough right there. And then I'm going to cover this with some tin foil or aluminum foil. And put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes. All right, our fish is done. I made some rice. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this bad boy out real quick. All right. Man, that smells awesome. Okay. Oh man, look at that. Oh my goodness. Do a quick test, make sure we're done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Man, that looks awesome. Woo wee. All right guys, that looks absolutely incredible. I got me some rice and I'm going to go ahead and get me one of these pieces of tile. Oh man. Oh lordy, look at that. Man, oh man. This will be the first time I have ever eaten fresh tile fish. Let me get me a little bit of butter and lemon juice right here. Oh boy. Guys, I don't mind telling you, that looks phenomenal and smells incredible. All right, well, I'm going to go sit at the table, start chowing down, y'all. Well, all right, y'all, here we go. I'm so excited about this, it's not even funny. I've been looking forward to this all day. All right, here goes that, man, that's, boy, oh boy. Whoa, wow. Guys. Wow. I mean, look at that flake. That's one single flake of that fish. I gotta tell you, that's awesome. This is honestly, by far, my new favorite fish. My absolute top favorite has always been yellow edge grouper. I just don't get them all the time. So, I always would say mangrove snapper is my favorite, cobia, stuff like that. This right here even surpasses yellow edge grouper. 
This in my opinion is the best tasting fish I have ever eaten. And that is no joke. I mean, that is not even an exaggeration at all. It is super mild, but it has a slight shellfish taste. The texture is great. It is fantastic. That is the bomb, guys. Well, thank you all so much, y'all, for hanging out with me and watching this video today and joining me for dinner on this Catch and Cook. I appreciate you guys very much. And for all y'all that comment that Summer and Amber go do the Catch and Cooks with me, Amber's at work tonight, so when she gets home, she'll have a plate made for her. And Summer doesn't like to eat on camera. Well, neither one of them like to eat on camera. So it's usually always just left up to me. But I'm okay with that. Hopefully you guys are too. So I'll see you all again, guys. Thank you so much for all your subscribing, all the thumbs up, all the interaction on the comment section. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys on the water here soon. Tight lines, Jenny Rockers.